I'm so excited because Nick Malgeri is here to teach us the secret to pulling dough to create one of Austria's most iconic desserts, apple strudel, which is one of my favorite desserts. I'm glad. I, I love, love it, it too. And Everybody I, loves apple strudel. And I think you are one of the masters Thank you. of pulling strudel dough. And I've been doing it for a long time. Okay. And so we're going to start with the dough. Yes. One and a half cups of unbleached bread flour. But real or 200 grams. Into the flour, you want half teaspoon of fine sea salt. Fine. Good, and if you stir that in, I'm gonna get the liquid ingredients ready, which are one large egg. So that's just gonna go into a measuring cup, and you'll see why in a second. Tablespoon of neutral vegetable oil. I like to use a nice organic cold pressed safflower oil. That's good. Because it has a really mild flavor. And now we want to add warm water so that you get just to about two thirds of a cup. And then whisk that together a little bit. That's enough. And then that goes right in. And first what we want to do is stir that all together. And then we can put it on the mixer and let the dough hook do the work of kneading it. We can put it on the mixer. Second speed is good. There we go. That's perfect. Okay. So that takes a while. I'm just gonna put a drop of oil in the bowl, the equivalent of about a quarter of a teaspoon. I'd love to show the alternative method to mixing it by machine, which is pounding the dough against well, the table. Well, that would be great. I was so let's to see take that. that dough out of the mixer. And I'll show that very quickly, and then we can move to our dough that's already made. So if you don't have a mixer, you do what we did initially, which is to stir everything together. Little bit of flour on the work surface, and then it's a, it's a whack and fold and turn. See, I'm pressing it down, I'm folding it, and then I'm grabbing it from the side. And you do that approximately 100 times, you have which good hands sounds for this. like, yeah, and a little experience. <laughs> and that's enough? When it's ready, into the bowl, press it down so that the oil gets on top, and then cover it. Good. Just leave it at room temperature for how long? at least an hour or two, even overnight. Okay. Next, we're gonna make the filling. I like to make a cooked apple filling. This is a golden delicious apple. It has kind of a hard texture. Right. So for the filling, a little bit of water goes into a pan, and this kind of enameled iron casserole is exactly what I like to use. Okay. The apples go in, and we've got, I think, half a cup of sugar. Oh, I'll right give you that, that, yeah. And that can go right on top. A half a cup of raisins. Right, and Go the raisins and go in golden, right away. Golden raisins. Either, Doesn't or matter. currants even. Oh, yeah. And a little bit of cinnamon. Now, my recipe calls for half a teaspoon. I always like to put more. I like cinnamon with the apples. These need to start to cook until you can hear them sizzle. Once they're sizzling, I cover them. I lower the heat and I wait about 10 minutes. At the point where you take off the cover and you see the apples swimming in water, leave the cover off, lower the heat, and then just let it reduce to the point where there isn't any more liquid left in the pan. And Great. you just have the apples. And the whole thing takes about 20, 25 minutes. It really does evaporate. And the color is great. Good. Walnuts? Right in. Three quarters of a cup of chopped walnuts. Right, they should be coarsely chopped, and then tilt the pan. Oh. And you know, as long as that cools down to room temperature, we're gonna be fine. It doesn't need to be ice cold. So that's the apple filling. As soon as it's cool to the touch, we can stretch the dough. Excellent. There's an old wives' tale that a man will not marry a woman if he cannot read his newspaper through her stretched strudel dough. Interesting. Yes, so I will not marry you, Nick, unless your strudel dough is thin enough. Our Here, this is ingenious. Uh, one of your prop people so two, two flour sacks together. Good. So what I'm gonna do is put oh. an abundant amount of flour on here. Okay, so that's the rested dough. So I always like to pat it out into a pancake. Doesn't matter if the cloth is moving a little bit. 
first of all, a little flour on top. And then I like to roll out the dough as thinly as I can roll it. Once that's rolled out, a little oil on the surface of the dough. Now what this does is it prevents the surface of the dough from drying out while you're stretching it. Okay, this is the way to stretch the dough. Fists underneath it. So we start in the and center. And cut your nails, ladies. Yes. No dagger nails, right? Right. So you start in the center, and where the dough stretches and becomes thinner, it becomes lighter in color. Now, what if so, it gets a hole? Heaven forbid. If it gets a hole, your job is to not tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> How beautiful. Okay, now what I like to do, we can both pull sideways. This is fabulous. Yeah, and what I like to do here is anchor the dough over the edges. Little hole there. Little hole there. But you see, you didn't, you violated the pact, Martha. You're not supposed to say anything if there's a hole, then nobody knows. True. Okay. Looks now, where's good. that newspaper? Well, I'll use my script. If I can read this, we can get married. Let's okay. see. Okay. I can read. Let's facts. see, facts. Strudel in Austria. Oh, my it is gosh. Called Awful strudel. Well, that, those Austrian and, men. And listen, you don't have to buy me a, a ring. I'll just take <laughs> one of those earrings, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Next, we're going to do our butter. Okay. It's a question of just drizzling it on. You don't want a ton of butter on there. So first thing is... Breadcrumbs. Our buttered breadcrumbs. These are some breadcrumbs cooked in butter. So now we're going to take the filling. And put it where? Right on top of the breadcrumbs. Now there's a touch of cinnamon in here. I think before when we were making the filling, it, I it said, smells I amazing. often. This is a pretty fat strudel. Uh, yeah. This much? All of it? Oh, yeah, yeah. All of it can go in. Sure. See, I like that because I don't like it when it's skimpy. Yeah. Good. So, rolling is like this. We're covering the dough. I'm just folding the sides in like a little bit. Lift the paper and just let it roll. And there. there we go. Okay, that just needs to be folded under. Do not be afraid of lifting it onto the pan. Okay, and I'm not afraid. Good, that looks nice. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more butter on the outside. And this is probably the most important thing about forming the strudel is docking the top deeply with some openings. Because when mm, you do that, great. The steam is not going to accumulate on the inside of the strudel. I forgot to ask you what temperature oven. 400, and if you have convection, so much the better. It'll bake faster. About how long? It takes about half an hour, a little That's bit all. longer. I usually like to judge by the color. Fantastic. So into the oven, 400 degrees. Right. Here it is. It's been out of the oven for about how long? About half an hour. It's okay. cool enough to touch. touch. And... I'm gonna put just a little tiny bit of confectioner's sugar on it. It makes the flakiness stand out a little bit. Like make a couple of nice diagonal cuts. I don't like the end. I don't either. We're gonna have to find somebody to eat it. Okay. And. Wow, is that beautiful. And for you. Mitschlag. Mitschlag. With whipped cream, Mitch as they Lag. say in Vienna. I'm gonna mm. have some too. Look at that. It is the perfect, perfect strudel. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, Martha. Okay, but I do have to taste it. Yeah, because me too. Without tasting it, how would I really know? Mm. A masterpiece. Thank you.